Okay. Uh, howdy from Texas. I'm going to be in Texas twice in one week. I'm going to be in San Antonio uh, August 1st, and then I'm coming back for the um, Bell County Comic Con in uh, Belton, Texas. Okay, so Krista sent a request. Why am I not seeing it? Let's see. Okay, there she is. Krista. Hello from Italy. Ciao ragazzi. Come state? Did we there do it? Is. We did it. Krista, we did it. We did I'm it. The smartest man alive. You are so smart. <laughs> We've we got are... people from all over the world, Krista. Oh my God, amazing. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, this is exciting. Yeah, it is. It's really fun. This People... is, I, was telling you, I was telling everyone this is the first time I've ever done an IG Live, so. Really? Yeah, so, if, I mean, not, not the, the first time I've hosted one in my. In on your, my, in uh, your on thing. My, on my thing. Oh, we got, we got the power journalist, Marcos Papadatos. Oh. All these people. Fantastic. <laughs> um, we're just going to let it go. We got about another 30 seconds before we're supposed to officially start. But we've got some great questions, Krista. Um, people were um, writing in and asking questions for like the last 24 hours. And awesome. you were telling me that our show was on today. I didn't get a chance to see it, but. Uh, yeah, I went um, really quickly on to Twitter and people are makeup. posting videos and stuff. So, yay. Cool. Well, it I is did. officially 1.30. So now we can we can actually start. So nice. why, don't we, why don't we start with the questions that um, some people uh, wrote in. So one of the questions we have is from Lynn Stanbridge. And she said, uh, this is for both of us. What is the favorite storyline that you've gotten a chance to do on B and B, and in my case, Y and R? So, you want to go first, Krista? I mean, I I've been here what seven months or something like that. Right. So I've been in a triangle the whole time. You know what I mean? That's yeah. kind of been the that's kind of been the thing. But I did love the Sheila stuff. Yeah. Sheila, um, I did I did love that. That was really fun to be able to work with Kimberlyn, as you know. And it's, you know, so that was, that was really fun. I was excited about that. Um, I guess, you know, I don't know, you know, like whenever I, you start, whenever you're a new person on the show, you just get like thrown right to the proverbial wolves because they don't bring you on not to have a huge storyline. Right. So you have just been working like a maniac. Yeah. Uh, but we've wanted to work together for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, so excited when I, I saw our names in the script together. I was like, what? I know, me too. Well, you know, I saw, when I saw you in anger management, I was like, I want to work with that girl sometime. Nice. So, yeah. So, <laughs> Thank I think, you. I think, I think one of the things that I'm really excited about this storyline is that people are going to see that you have got, like, really strong comedy chops. Oh, uh, thanks. You know, you're, you're, you're really funny. And, I, you know, I always say that on daytime, we just don't get the chance – to do comedy that much and and you know because it is a drama and right. you know in life people use comedy all the time yeah you know? and they've so been it's a lot of fun they've been really really great with me and and bringing that with taylor it's something that yeah. she didn't have so much before they've been great in in and letting and letting me play a lot more and have some levity as Brad calls it, you know, and, yeah. and I, and I love that. And you have always been that light character too. And funny and everybody loves your scenes cause you're, you're funny and it, and you know, it's, it's great. So the, the two of us together, when I saw that I got to work with you, I was like, Oh it's my God, combination, right? I have, I have a playmate here, you know, to bounce things off of. And so, yeah. I, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you something because I've been in the same situation, although not on Bold and Beautiful. Did you find it difficult putting your own stamp on the character after, you know, you know replacing a character who, or an actress rather, who was very popular and put her own stamp on the show? Um, did, was, did you find any challenges or obstacles doing that? I don't know what's going on. It, like, if SWAT people bust it's through LA. my front door. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I'm I'm also in West Hollywood. Are you in West Hollywood? I'm in West Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, there, I'm waiting for mine to go off. We have too. a fire station like, oh. two blocks down from me. So it's like, it's almost like living in New York. I just, I, I get oblivious to it other when, than when I'm on uh, social or something. It just goes all day long. So anyway. So as far as like putting a stamp on it, I mean, I think, I think what, I think at the beginning it was, a, I didn't know as much of the character, but the more I researched and listen, the fans have helped me so much in understanding Taylor, even the ones that don't like Taylor, you know what I mean? Like the entire fan base, like 
where is it that I can give more? And so my whole thing wasn't, you know, how can I put my own spin on it, but how can I be as entertaining as possible? Right. And how can I really, really trigger the other side <laughs> that doesn't yeah. want to like Taylor? And how can I make the side that loves Taylor really happy? That's my goal. That's it. That's, that's what I'm here for. And I think that is, I, I think, I think that's kind of where I went is strategy more than, yeah. you know, like strategy and entertainment and in the entertainment value, what's going to get people talking. Um, you know, all of that stuff. So it was more of a, it was more of a strategy than anything. Right. And it was fun for me to find it. And, you know, I, yeah. So that's, that, that was, that was it for me. What about you? Well, I, you know, I, I'm the only actor that's ever played Deacon, which is great. Which is, yeah. I'm yeah. But in other stuff, you've but taken But yeah, it, in, right? in general, in general hospital, um, I was, uh, uh, when I played AJ Quartermain, I replaced another actor. Yeah, and it's it's and, and and then somebody replaced me, and then I came back and replaced him. So, um, yeah, you know, I, I think you just have to you you know bring yourself to it, and of course you want the audience to like you, but um, at least for me, um, I, you know, I got to make the choices I make and and hope that as a result of that they like it. But when you start. For me, if you, if you start listening to too many different competing um, opinions, it, mm -hmm. for me that's like you know how do you make a camel? It's it's a made by it's a horse made by committee, and so you know like, <laughs> I, I, I try and uh, I, I try and just you know shoot from the hip and, and stay true to what I want to do. I just want to say we've got we've got people. I don't know if somebody is actually in Russia, but we had somebody who said Privyet, which is uh, oh awesome. So Privyet the bus nagamitsu. Um, so we had, uh, uh, there's people from Jamaica, Jamaica. We've got Brazil. Uh, this is just so amazing that you guys are doing this. Yeah, um, let's let's take another uh, question hey, here. Um, hey, okay, Minnie. this is from, uh, well, this is a quick one. So this is from Michelle Hollensteiner, and she wants to know, what is your favorite holiday, Krista? Oh my gosh, I... I don't know. I don't think I have. I'm really bad at favorites. I mean, I love Christmas because it's such a great yeah. time and it's yeah. just, you know, it's, it just feels really good. I, I guess yeah. I'd have to, you know, I'd probably have to say Christmas time is probably my favorite time. You know, everybody seems to chill out a little bit more, I guess, yeah. or a little nicer. Yeah. Yeah. Unless yeah. you're like at the mall or something, you know, <laughs> I, I, love, I love Christmas. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I love Christmas. I like Valentine's Day too. I'm kind of a romantic, so Aww, I like, you do. I do. Oh I my like God, Valentine's. That's so cute. Um, so yeah, that's probably mine. Okay, so we got another question from Jolene. She says, first of all, love you both. I have two, I have two questions. Do you think De Deacon and Taylor will get together? Uh, and the other question is, do you think they will actually show Steffi mourning the loss of Finn? I think they already have, haven't they? Yep. 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 Yeah. Think yeah. And I think the spoilers just came out that Ridge and Taylor get the news that Steffi's not doing well right. um, and that, that she's not doing well. So, so, you know, definitely they're going to see that. And as far as us hooking up, we don't, we're just friends. We don't, yeah, we don't know, you know, yeah. um, I mean, we're just, we we're, we're definitely friends. We both have stuff going on, you know? Yeah. You know, I, I think, I think sometimes the fans think that we know a lot more than we do. Yeah. And, and, you know, yeah, we get, we get scripts that are maybe, I don't know, maybe like a week, a week and a half in advance, maybe sometimes. Yeah. But you know, usually for me at least, I mean, my process is, I mean, I, I read them through as soon as I get them, and I, you know, I separate them into my scenes and everything. But I don't really start working on them until it's a couple days before because I'm working on other stuff. Oh my God! Of course. Right. Yes. Yes. So, and both both you and I also kind of go through and make it true to our characters for yeah. ourselves, right? And yeah. so. There's, there's a lot of work, you know, and sometimes I don't look at it until literally the night before and I don't study it till I really get to work, right? And I, and I get to run it with somebody. That's when it locks in for me on the day. So, have, you, have, you had, have you had those days where you get your scenes mixed up and you don't learn a scene that you have to have? Oh my God, I've done it before. Where I, oh my God, it's the worst when it's like, and we're moving to the next one. It's like yes. page 13 and I'm like, I'm sorry, what page? <laughs> what? What? It's, How did I miss It's terrifying. This one? It just happened the other day. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Did, didn't you just do a, a day where uh, Torsten was in every single scene? Well, he had to make up some scenes because right. he wasn't able to come in to do some scenes. So we had to go back during hiatus and make up all the scenes. So because he wasn't in that 
in, in the in a block of, 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 a, of a, like a week, you know, we had to go in and make up all those. I think there was like, I swear, like 13 episodes. It was crazy. I, I saw that on the rundown and, and I texted him and just said, dude, you're a beast. And if anyone can do it, you can. But I mean, good luck. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, for, for people who don't know, you guys, um, we really rely a lot on um, uh, the lunch break. Uh, on, to run lines. You know, we don't yeah, get lunch very right, much, right? Right, the, the five minutes that we have every now and then where the crew takes a break and all those little um, breaks that we have during the day are when we cram to make sure that we know all our dialogue. So I, I yeah. imagine doing, what, 25 scenes or whatever he did straight through. Yeah, and if and if you're on a five and you have to and you have to pee, it's real. You're like, shit. <laughs> Damn it! I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, you got to you got to go, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, and it's like because those five minutes are like really important. So, yeah, there was there was um there was a uh, I wanted to get this question out there. Somebody had uh, sent me a message on Twitter. It was Dominique on Twitter, and she was asking. Um, how much, you know, she was like, how much fun are you guys having? And um, she wanted to know about the um, I'm a loser thing. I, so right. I don't know if she was referring to today or, or when we were just saying, I'm a loser. Don't say I'm a loser. Say yeah. it with me. Say it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah when we did that. Yeah. So I think, I think, I think you and I um, work in a similar way in some respects um, that we were very lucky that the, the production and the creative people behind the camera are very generous with you know giving us the opportunity to um you know try some of our own stuff you know yeah. really really put it into our own vernacular yeah. um and and I, I know for me that that makes all the difference i mean you know um the latitude that i get to do that um really is is something that i kind of rely on i was really happy that you sort of do the same because <laughs> I probably would drive somebody crazy who is just an absolute stickler for stickler. Oh, every God. single word. Well, we have, we have some, of, we have some that are like, don't change anything. I need my, I need my lead line or whatever. And right. it's like, but I'm kind of telling you the scene now. So can you just follow that? You know, <laughs> like, or we, we just, we just have people. I just saw that we have people from the Netherlands. We've got people Netherlands. from Colombia. Um, it's just amazing. Hi, Douglas. You guys, thank I you so much. You we got our, our, our super fan friend, Angie Theo, Hi, is out there. Angie Theo, I love, love Angie. Angie. Um, she made a great edit for us of us together. Oh, did you see she, Did you see that thing I, she did? It yeah, was so cool. Yeah, that's beautiful. I saw Thank that. Thank you, Angie. I did see that. Um, a lot of you guys are asking uh, if I'm going to be on Cobra Kai. Thank I you, Lydia. Neither confirm nor deny. All I can say is I really think you're going to like season five. I think you're going to enjoy it. I know I am. So watch season five. Um what else my question to you both is what do you love most about working opposite opposite each other um well i think i, I just kind of named two of the things I, I i like the fact that you're really funny and i like the fact that you're um you're really willing to um try some new stuff yeah you know, and, throw it uh, at me yeah yeah yeah. yeah because these two characters are really i mean you, you know if, if we're if we're going through the history of the characters I can only remember in all of my time on Bold since 2000 meeting Taylor once, and I didn't yeah. have, seen, have scenes with her. I was in a, a a party scene and probably, you know, had cheers, glass of wine, sort of thing. Yeah, so we've yeah. had to kind of create a little. And there was nothing connection. ever with Taylor with the with Bridget or anything. There was nothing ever there. No scenes. That, with that that I don't know. There may have been, but I know that I never had. You guys would know better than I do because you know the fans are great historians of the show. But yeah, I, I don't remember ever really working with um, uh, ever ever working with Hunter. Um, although I did do a movie of the week with her ex husband Michael Tyler. But um, yeah, so I that's 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 kind of what I, I I love working with you the most about. And I'd say the same thing about you. I mean, when we get in there like we're just it's it's just a it's a conversation right and we mm -hmm. know that we may add something we may throw something at each other and the other person something that you said when i added that um when i was like yeah i'm basically a saint and you go a saint and a sinner and those <laughs> two were ad libs yeah. you know yeah. what i mean and we th so that's how we and it it works right yeah. so yeah 
I, I love that because it's just, it's, 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 it's a conversation, you know? It is, and I think it's really, it, it, like I said, it's a testament to the fact that, um, you know, the people kind of running the show are kind enough to let us do that because you know I've worked on I've worked on primetime shows before yeah and you cannot mess with the dialogue and I've done that before and um it's it's you know there was there was like hell to pay oh uh, really yeah oh my god depending I, on I guess what you're working on well, I've been I've always been really lucky with that and for the most part being able to yeah. change things just a little bit to fit the cadence of my voice of who I am of what I say of how I move and you know, yeah. writers can only do so much if you're guest starring on something and, right. you know, they are writing it specifically. I mean, for the most part, people have been pretty cool with me to, like, let me find it so that it feels right. But um, but here they've been amazing with both of us. They've been yeah. amazing with both of us to let us play. Right. Yeah, because I think one of the things is, you know, when you have, you know, there's multiple writers who write the show and you you, you want to make sure that your character's voice is consistent yeah and and so it really yeah. is kind of you know it's 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 up to us as the actors to to do our best to help that process with the writers to make sure that you know we 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 don't sound like completely different human beings not that they write it that way but you know it's it's part of our job to make sure that we all have i guess consistent voices yeah yeah, for sure. I mean, it is, you know, there are so many writers and they do, they're not really writing necessarily for each different character. They're writing the storyline, right? They're right. writing, they're writing from the, the outline of the show. And it is our job to, to come in and create a character. And right. for me, for some people that might be, you know, oh no, but for, I, I love that. I love the challenge. I love it. I yeah. think you do too. Like, you oh, yeah. it. You, Deacon is like, my it's favorite character. character right it's yeah really fun so, character. so somebody just asked if you're going to be in cobra kai <laughs> I, what is i think, you, I, I think you'd be a badass the, on cobra kai oh my god i cook some who's, yeah who's, who's the sensei what's his name well there's there's terry silver and then there's uh then there's martin cove who plays uh sensei john Cree. i think i think martin liked a reel that i had that was from when i was promoting your book Ah. And, or, you know, and I was holding your book. I was with Matt Hamby and I was like, go read this book. And he liked it the other day. And I was like, I was like, I know that name. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. He's Marty, so Marty's, awesome. Marty's absolutely amazing. Yeah, no, he's a badass. He's got a, he's got a really cool podcast called Kicking It With The Cobes, where it's oh, um, nice. Mar Marty and his daughter and his son, Jesse. Uh, and uh, yeah, you should do that if you can. It's really fun. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, it's a lot of Martin fun. I'll see if I can, I'll see if I can <laughs> help you put that yeah. together. Yeah. Um, okay. Interesting story. So uh, the daytime Emmys were on uh, what, like 10 days ago or two, a couple weeks ago, whenever. And so I was back in Pennsylvania. And so I put it on TV. I tried to find it on YouTube and I'm watching it. Nelson. And it turned out that, um, you know, I'm, I'm texting people and it turned out we were watching the Emmys from five years ago. <laughs> and so I was like, boy, I'm really glad that I'm not congratulating people on social media. Oh my God, that is I finally hilarious. texted somebody and said, is Mario Lopez hosting the Emmys Oh my God, that like, is no. so funny. No, you didn't. Oh my God, you're like, yeah, wow. That was pretty everybody funny. Looks, everybody looks younger. It's so weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Nelson's making fun of our glasses. I know, so, I just saw that. I know. Wow, Nelson, just, we miss you. Got to see just, Nelson in so long. He's just jealous. Him. Yeah. He's jealous of our glasses. He is absolutely. <laughs> um, wow. So, so if if you if you could um, if hey, you Destiny. could script if you could script what happens to your character over the next month or two, um, not not just with me but with anybody, what would you uh, what would you like to see happen with Taylor? I would like to see Ridge absolutely go nuts and chase her so hard and literally work really, really hard to try to get her back. And then she's like, yeah, sorry. Involves foot massages. Um... I don't know. Like, I think, I th yeah, mo mo like just, yeah. I, I think that would be great for Taylor. I think that would be awesome. I would love, I would love that for Taylor. I, I don't think that, that that that's not how they write Taylor. So I don't know that that's right. going to be it. But I would, I would love just that to, to come through because, I love Taylor and I, 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 you know, she definitely, she definitely gets the, you know, short end of the stick a lot, you know what I mean? And so does Deacon, which is what I love our pairing because we're both, 
you know, we, we both kind of lose out, kind you know, lucky in love, right? I, but you know, by, lucky, my, yeah. by my calculations, Deacon was in prison for about 